All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Plant-Based Kidney Health. I'm Michelle Krosmer here with Dr. Sean Hashmi. And the question that we are answering today is, if someone is losing large amounts of protein in their urine, does that mean that their blood protein levels will be low and that they need to eat more protein in their diet to replace it? Yeah, great question. And as always, these things depend on what the situation is. So remember, when you have protein spilling in the urine, our goal is to reduce the pressure on the kidneys. We call that lowering intraglomerular pressure. One of the ways we do that is by lowering the protein you take. So roughly, we bring you down to about 0.6 to 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. Now, as always, this is an if. And the reason this is an if is when you look at the studies around a low-protein diet, some of them have been favorable. Others haven't given us the same idea. So there was an MDRD follow-up study that was done for 12 years, six years with the study. Then they extended it for six years to the follow-up. Now, the low-protein intake arm, they reduced the risk of kidney failure by 32%. And the all-cause mortality went down by 34%. So based on that, the idea was that if you cut down your protein intake, it would be better. But in the following, the 6 to 12-year extension of the study, there was no benefit. So in a meta-analysis that Cochrane did in 2009, what they showed was there is a benefit in terms of the risk of going on to end-stage renal disease by 32%. What is the bottom line when you think about having protein in the urine is, is our goal is to focus on trying to go for 0.6 to 0.8 going on because it will lower the intraglomerular pressure. It will lower your blood urea nitrogen, it will lower the uremic toxins you're building up, it will lower the acid load that's going on. But now let's change the situation a little bit. What happens if you have nephrotic range? Nephrotic range means you're spilling more than three grams of protein in the urine a day going on. There, it's a little bit more controversial because what the data shows there is, is that you may not want to restrict the protein too much. In other words, keeping it closer to about 0.8 grams per kilo per day is actually advisable because of the fact that in animal models, not humans, but in animal models, when you go lower than that in nephrotic syndrome states, you actually decrease the production of albumin inside your liver going on. So essentially, you become malnourished. Now, as always, if you are nephrotic, we would still encourage more plant-based, but we just wouldn't go very severe. So if you're spilling protein, should you restrict your protein? The answer generally is yes. If you're spilling a lot of protein, you want to work with your dietitian to find that sweet spot so that you don't get malnourished at it. And when those cases occur, it takes a team, your nephrologist, your dietitian, and a whole lot of other people, sometimes a renal pharmacist is involved to make sure we get the ideal treatment for you. So thanks so much for asking the question, guys. We look forward to your questions and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.